Hello everybody and welcome to J Smith takes a quick look at Don't Starve Beta. So this is a game brought to us by Cry Entertainment, which is the same studio that brought us Shank, N Plus, Eats Munchies, and Mark of the Ninja, just to name or just to name a few, not name a few. Anyways, so this game is browser based for now, but it will be coming to Steam in the future. If you're interested, you could be part of the beta for only $8.99, which will include two free copies of the game. So a little bit more about the game, and I'm stealing this directly from the website. Um, Don't Starve is an upcoming survival exploration game. You play as Wilson, an intrepid gentleman scientist who has been trapped by a demon and transported to a mysterious wilderness world. Wilson must learn to exploit his environment and its inhabitants if he ever hopes to escape and find his way back home. So, I've played, you know, roughly probably like a half hour to an hour of this game, kind of getting a good feel for it, but there's plenty of that I need to, you know, find out while I'm playing, so let's let's do that together, and let's create a new world. Erase the current save game, yes, that is completely fine. So we start as Wilson, and apparently there's more unlockable characters down the road, but we can only be Wilson P. Higsbury. He's, I don't know creating a mad scientist potion with this chicken right there. Don't play with your chicken, buddy. Or buddy. So, generating world. So, there is a day and night cycle to this game, and light plays a major factor into it. So, you know, during the day, everything's happy and great. At night, you can literally see nothing unless you have a nice kind of fire to go along with you. So, ready to play. How long will you survive? I have no idea. Here's this Maxwell kind of guy? Say, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before night comes. Okay, so, and now we are officially off. So let's, we have a little bit of control over the view here. Um, so I'm going to be picking up um, saplings, grass, and flint. The first thing that I kind of want to do is be able to, oh, I don't know, maybe create some tools. Let's, let's create some tools. Um, and so like my side menu is on the left here, so I'll be able to create tools, um, light sources, I'll be able to farm later on in the game, trap, fight, uh, build, refine, I have magic, and I have alternate ways to dress. Unfortunately, I haven't got too much down into here yet, but mostly kind of concerned with tools, light, and farming. So that's going to be my primary function or primary goal for now, until something comes along that maybe sounds a little bit better. So grabbing some, oh, butterfly. I want the butterfly, I want the butterfly. Oh, butterfly flutter by, okay. Flowers don't really do anything. I'm gonna be able to eat the petals, but it doesn't really increase too much in the sense of being able to um, eat or, you know, my hunger bar is over here, 88, and my overall life is up there. Um, you know, sitting at 100 because I'm still alive and nothing has attacked me yet. But I digress. Moving on, collecting some saplings. Um, let's create our first tool here. I will create an axe to be able to chop down the trees. If I click it and I can drag it over to my hand, and now I have my axe chopping down some trees, which will give me some raw lumber, which will help me out in the future. Um, and, you know, creating and crafting, everything like that. So it's kind of a 2D perspective of Minecraft in a way. Um, if, if you know, if you want to use that sort of analogy, you know, you are kind of like placed in the wilderness, you are crafting some items, and you know, you can certainly draw that analogy easily. But overall, I mean, it's kind of completely its own type of game, you know, especially with the way that it's set up and the way that it looks and the way that it presents itself. It's really unique, and I love the way that it looks. I mean, the last few games from Kai Entertainment that I've played have been Shang, Shang 2, and um, Mark of the Ninja, all which being, you know, that same sort of 2D platform, you know, side-scrolling action game. This gives a, a really kind of unique perspective, which I'm, I'm having a, a great time just looking around and exploring and enjoying the the scenery and enjoying the, uh, the game, the, the way that the game presents itself in, in its own realm. So picking up some grass, that's going to be important later on when I will be able to, um, oh gosh, what am I saying, uh, when I want to build fires and so on and so forth. I need to collect this flint, hopefully these bees won't sting me, I haven't been stung by a bee yet, but I don't want to start right now. 
trying to get over here, collect as much kind of food as possible, I suppose. So let's go back here. I saw this land bridge over to the left I'd like to explore a little bit. Looks like day might end sooner rather than later. So we'll have to find something. I don't know where I'm going right now. I've never seen this kind of terrain before. But what's stopping us from exploring? Nothing. Hopefully. I hope this isn't like a forever path. Nope, it doesn't. There is an end in sight. So let's go over here, chop down some trees, and continue our journey to God knows where. Chopping pine cones, logs, logs. And when something in the craft menu becomes available, you kind of see that it has this green uh, outline around it. What I'm looking for right now... Oh god, I want to stay away from these. These are enemy units that will attack. Uh, that looks like a bear creature. I want to stay away from him. Ah, here we go. I like the planes because these big buffalo guys kind of walk around and, and poop. And their poop makes fertilizer. And I... Oh, what the hell is that? What the balls? This mandrake. I'm going to eat him <laughs> when I'm getting hungry enough. Okay, pick up the poop. What game don't you want to play where you can pick up the poop? I love picking up poop. Okay. Seeds. Seeds are good. That will allow me to plant in a future farm whenever I decide to make that. Um, almost ready to hopefully... I want to craft a pickaxe, I believe. Um, because the pickaxe will allow me to chop down big boulders. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's getting late. Need to make a fire. Let's create a campfire for road slate while it's burning. Um, let's do that here. Hopefully this, these reeds won't catch on fire. That would be terrible. Okay, so let's eat this mandrake, whatever that does. Oh, that gave me a lot of health. That's awesome. Okay. So sooner or later, I'll be able to build this fire pit. So safer, more efficient campfire. No idea how that's going to turn out. Hopefully for the better. I can make a trap and capture small creatures. I see there's a bunch of rabbit holes, you know, around the uh, the environment. Maybe I'll put a trap down there and catch one of those small little critters. Let's see what else I have. I thought I saw something that would enable me to create a like a little camp, like a little house, or not even a house, just a straw mat. There it is, a straw roll. So that means I need to make rope. So I make, where do I go to make rope? Rope, rope, rope. Here's the, the trap section, but no rope is in sight. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, there it is, okay. So rope, I need six, five, or six grass to make rope, but I kinda need the grass to make the campfires. Looks like my fire is actually dwindling right now, so I will create another one by simply doing that. There we go. Sam in the campfires. With the fire pit, you're able to replenish the uh, the fuel. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Hopefully, in the future, I will. I think it's as it might be as simple as clicking and dragging and dropping, but who knows? Just going to wait for something to happen and it to turn daylight out. So let's see what I kind of have in the meantime. So tools. I'll be able to build an axe, a pickaxe, a bug net which would be nice. It looks like I'll have to get some silk, maybe from spiders. Um, and rope. I can get a shovel. Oh, looks like I just built a shovel. Um, so I'll figure out what that does. Maybe I can dig up some rabbit holes and, you know, do some things. I don't know. But I'll be able to build a luxury axe, a regal shovel. So when you chop down or cut through the, the, uh, the big boulders, sometimes you'll get gold. And the gold allows for a better sort of shovel, I suppose. And I think these down here are our experience points. Would that be correct in assumption? I'll have to check that out uh, and see. See, I have this little icon up here. I haven't quite figured out what it all does yet. Um, should I build another campfire? Looks like the daytime is almost going to come. Maybe I'll, I'll wait until something happens when I... Maybe the campfire will be able to make it through the night. Who knows? Please make it, I'm hoping. I like these big mammoth creatures. Okay, there we go. We made it through the night. Safe as sound. Examine the pig house. Ooh. These pigs have pretty fancy houses. Um, let's attack the pig. Ah! Attack the pig. Attack the pig. Here, piggy, 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 piggy. I'm gonna get you. 
gonna get ya. Yeah. Let's go. Get it. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Kill the pig. Ah, oh, there we go. Meat. Yay. Okay, what did I want to do now? I think I wanted to get some rocks. Or oh, actually, I have this shovel. So let's equip the shovel and see what kind of things I could do with that. Um, doesn't look like too much from here. But I will continue looking. Maybe I'll find a rabbit hole somewhere. Or places pretty fancy houses. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. But then again, the game is called Don't Starve. So I think the pig meat will help me in the future anyways. Hmm. Follow the path over here. I want to make sure to keep that uh, to the right in mind. Because, oh. Oh, I freaking, I got the whole bush. That's cool. I could dig the bushes up. Sapling. So if I can, I, I suppose I could plant these. Um, so, yeah, I can. That's kind of neat. And it created a evergreen. So what happens if I plant the bush? Nothing. Okay. So that's good data. Something I don't quite need. Let me get the axe back out. I think that's a little bit more valuable. And I will continue exploring. Maybe I will... I don't need the pine cone, but I could use the poop. For future endeavors in which I will plant and farm. Got some seeds. I don't think I'm going to necessarily need seeds for much. But I would like... Well, I mean the seeds that I'm going to get in the grass. I don't think they're going to... Oh, mandrake. Oh, there it is. I love those guys. They're so fun. Okay. Let me look for... Do I have enough for tools? No. I'm going to look around for some flint. Oh, I don't want to leave. I like this place so far. Hmm. But there hasn't been any big boulders or anything, which is kind of disconcerting. Let me just pick up some saplings. See what I can do with these. Flowers. Ah, oh, there is one. Okay. But to make this, I'm going to need flint. And flint can be found by killing rocks, which is a sad thing. Or by finding it on the ground randomly, which doesn't look like it's going to happen for me. Curse my bad luck. There's where the spiders come out of and attack me. i got to remember that the grassy places below me shouldn't be too far or too hard to remember that. Hmm. Life is running low. Day is not really running out. So there's three, well, there's three quarters of the time in this game that it's daytime. Um, about like 33%, maybe less than that, is in dusk, where it starts getting dark. And then a full quarter is simply dark. So it's not too much, it's, it's not too bad. I like the, the time, uh, the time kind of differential, you know, being able to do more exploring and more of everything while it's daytime, and have to concern about night when when you kind of get to that that mode. Unfortunately, I can't find a flint to save my life, so I will just continue running around without a care or concern. I'm gonna eat my meat. Uh, it's uncooked, but apparently my dude does not give a fuck. You'll eat raw uncooked pork without a problem. Oh, so this is neat. I love the art style of this game. I really think it's unique and I really think it's cool. I haven't seen too much like it, especially in, you know, this kind of this kind of game, this kind of format. You know, hand-drawn, kind of isometric. It looks really neat. I, I can't say much except, you know, kudos to the developer. Um, Client Entertainment, you are awesome. Especially for Sending me the email and giving me this this invite to this game, I, I much appreciate that. Um, they've been nothing but but cool dudes uh, who make some really quality games. You can tell by their repertoire and some of the games that they've um, created and thrown out there. You know, it's a it's a company to not be reckoned with. The headstone is blank. I wonder what this is all about. It's getting late, of course. So I will. Oh no. Okay. I need to stay away from the uh, the spiders there, so I'm gonna make a campfire right here um, and attack the spider. Attack the spider. Attack the spider. Okay, good stuff. Full health. Um, I can't really see. 
Oh no. No, oh, it's attacking me. Can I, can I attack it? Attack it. What? Don't be scared to attack the spider. I can't see me. Okay. Monster meat. Okay. That sounds like my Johnson. Alright. I think I'm kind of screwed here. I got poop. I got monster meat and I got this mandrake. I don't know, I think, I think that's based, I think, I hope that gives you a kind of a good gist of what this game is all about. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to, I wasn't able to show off everything, you know, mining in the boulders and getting rocks and stuff. But maybe, who knows, maybe this, this might turn into a, a let's play if this, if enough people kind of request it or if it's something that you guys would be interested in. It's a fun game, highly recommended. If I don't do a let's play, certainly I, I, I want to recommend that you guys all... Um, check out the game. I'm, I'm having a blast with it so far. It's just a fun exploration game, uh, and it's currently in beta. And I believe if you get the beta, you're you will be able to um, you have access to the full game at a lower price. The, the, when it comes out, it's going to be 14.99, maybe 15.99. But full price for you know one of their games is is similar to like along that vein. But check it out, and you know, uh, let me know what you guys think about in the uh, in the comments. And, you know, in the future, and if I'm missing anything, just give me some tips and tricks, um, you know, anyways. Um, fun game, highly recommended it, um, but that is going to be the end of this episode. Here's this spider. I hate spiders. This is exactly what I would say in this situation. I can't kill it. Can I hit it with a twig? Can I kill it with a shovel? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah, beat it to death with a shovel. There we go. That makes me happy. All right, can I get the monster meat? Thank you. Um, can I eat the monster meat? I guess. So my health is going down. Let's see what happens when I die. Or when you go out into the wilderness. So you can't see shit, right? Um, except these little... Oh god! I have no idea what happened there. I think that was a pig? But I survived one day. XP 10. Uh, next reward. Oh, okay, that is cool. So when you die, I haven't died yet, surprise, um, when you die, um, it calculates all your XP, I suppose, and then you are one step closer to, you know, unlocking your next character. So good stuff, check it out. Again, by Klein Entertainment, good developer, good dudes. Um, I am Jay Smith, OTI. Um, if you want to get in touch with me outside of YouTube, um, feel free to tweet at me. It's jsmith underscore OTI. Look at all these pigs. All right. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for checking us out. And until next time, I'll see you later.